So I kind of feel like making one's first YouTube video is a little bit like a really awkward first date. I mean, you have to be funny and interesting and capture their attention right away. And you can't be too weird. I mean, you can't let them see the weird side of you. You don't want to scare them off. <laughs> Like my mom always says, you gotta go in confident, you know? You gotta put your best foot forward and you just gotta go for it. So hey, YouTube, I'm Marin, and this is Lunchbox Science. What is Lunchbox Science, you might ask? Well, I'm hoping that Lunchbox Science will become this really neat online community of people who are curious about the world and have interesting questions. And we're gonna answer them right here. So when I say science and when I say questions, I don't really mean chemical equations and complicated scientific names. I mean the kind of random questions about the world that pop into your head during, say, lunch. Why do ducks float? How do vocal cords work? Why do we sneeze and what is snot? Why can't my dog see the colors that I do? How do tulips know when to come up in spring? What are zits and why do they exist? So that's partly why it's called lunchbox science, you know, the questions that you think about at lunch. But also, like a lunchbox, it's gonna have lots of different kinds of things in it. Anything you guys have questions about. Chemistry, biology, astronomy, physics, psychology, anything at all. So currently, I'm a biology and environmental science major in college, and so I'm not exactly qualified as a, you know, professional scientist, but with the help of my friend Google, my professors and my friends and my textbooks and the world, I'm going to try and answer your questions as best as possible. I was inspired to do this particular project by an amazing video on TEDx about how simple questions being asked by regular people can lead to extraordinary scientific discoveries. And I figured, I want to do that. So here we are. And this week's question... So I know you're all thinking, Rice Krispies? That's kind of weird and unscientific. Everybody knows the answer to that. Um... Oh my god, I totally don't know that. Which is exactly what I did. So, here's why. When you're making Rice Krispies, like you do, you're heating this grain of rice up really, 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 really hot. And when that rice interacts with that heat, the starch molecules in the rice form really tight chemical bonds, and the grain of rice puffs up with air, but even while it's puffed up with air, inside that grain are all of these walls of starch. So inside your grain of rice, you've got walls of starch, and in and around them, you've got these walls and pockets and tunnels of air. When you have your delicious bowl of Rice Krispies and you add milk, the milk is going to be absorbed by the rice. Now when that milk goes into that grain of rice, it's going to displace the air that was already there. And on its way out, because the air has got to go somewhere, that air is breaking all of the walls of starch inside the grain of rice, resulting in your snap, crackle, pop sound. This is also why if you leave that bowl of cereal unattended for a really long time, you're going to come back to a quiet bowl because all of that milk has been absorbed, all of that air has been displaced, and all of the walls have been broken. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes quiet cereal. Like any good scientist or student in general, I've cited my source down in the links. Check it out if you want to know more about Rice Krispies. Now, I'm not really sure what amazing scientific discoveries could be gained from knowing the mechanics of Rice Krispies, but you never know. Questions lead to questions lead to questions, and hey, Rice Krispies could inspire some pretty awesome aerospace engineering. So if you're still watching, and I hope you are, check it out. Lunchbox Science has a Twitter, a Tumblr, a Facebook page, and of course this YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Please ask questions. I'd love to get to know anybody out there who's watching. And who knows, if this goes well, maybe we'll become friends. So until next time, thanks for watching, and don't forget to pack your lunchbox.